Hello and welcome to week 26 of the Country Garden Crochet Along and this week we're going to complete our ribbon stitch panel and finish making this beautiful stitch. So let's go finish it off. Okay so last week we ended with a row of the lilac carrying the, straw, uh, the pink. So we cut off the pink and left the lilac attached. So now we're going to carry on with the lilac with a single crochet row. So it should be turned and chain one. And then just single crochet in every stitch. Ugh. There we go. So I'll just bring my stitch marker up. So the pattern is exactly the same as last week. But I'll just finish this row, all single crochet, and I'll come back and give you a reminder of how the stitch is made for the next row. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I finished my row single crochet, and now I've changed colours in the last two stitched, and chain, and, um, chain one. So I'm now going to be carrying the lilac. Where's that gone? Let me go. So I'm going to be carrying the lilac behind this stitch. Bring that there. Okay, so into the first stitch, make everything's tight before we. Starting this first stitch is always fiddly, but. Right, working over the top of the lilac, in the first stitch, start with a single crochet. But leave the last two loops on your hook. Into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. What if I got that one then? Hey, you know it's one of all those days. Right, let's try this again. I look should not be showing on the cock. Right. So, we change colour in the last two loops of the last row and we're going to be carrying the lilac and working over the top of it. So in your first stitch, start a single crochet, leave the last two loops on your hook and go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops over your, on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And just carrying that light thread behind. So working all of your stitches on top of the lilac thread. Into the same stitch you just finished working into, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Into the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that's a single crochet, two together. And we carry on the same stitch all the way across, making sure that we're always working on top of that lilac stitch. So your first next stitch always starts in the same stitch that you finished the last stitch. And just carry on that way. So we're going to be doing um, 10 rows today and all the colours I'll be using will be in the description for the video or you can pop over to the written pattern as well. That link is in the description as well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this panel and I shall see you in a moment. Okay, so I finished row 18 and when you got on the front side you can see this lovely interlocking pattern of all your colours. So it's a really unique kind of look <coughs> for a crochet stitch. So now we're going to do row 19 to finish this off. So I'm going to turn and keeping with the same colour we've just finished with, go to chain one and single crochet in the first stitch. Oops. Try again. There we go. 
and then just single crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so just a simple row of single crochet to finish it off. So you should have 19 rows in total for this panel. Okay, and once you finish this, you can weave in all your ends. And that will be this week complete. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this panel. I'll get all my ends woven in, and I shall see you next week for the next stitch. Bye for now.